Hey! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Everything is a little bit more settled now. And now I can go back into what I was saying. All right, so I think I left off. Um, Pastor said, some of you already know now that there is a tough and horrible time ahead of you. Just know that God is with you. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1 But now thus says the Lord who created you Fear not for I have redeemed you I have called you by your name You are mine um, This was quite alarming This next piece When you pass through the waters I will be with you. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. Um... I have, I guess, um, a couple side notes, but I think maybe it's best that I wait until the end to explain um, explain that part. The water part is pretty significant to me, at least, um, and I'll also explain that in a little bit. Okay, it's important to know, um, as we face the unknown of this year, God is here. He's with us. And he's within us even if you're not religious or spiritual or whatever just it's so important to know that God is here with us you don't have to do what I'm doing and go to church or even read the Bible have conversation with anybody else about it but just there if there's any part of you that wants to believe now is the time and just know that God is always with you and always within you too. Um, he goes into Joel chapter two, verse 25. He talks about how he will restore you to the years from the years that were stolen from us for the most part. And he goes into detail about the sequence of how the enemy attacks. And that was a kind of large chunk of verse <laughs> but I didn't write all of that down but pretty much mm, I think my allergies are kicking in but um, the sequence of how the enemy attacks they swarm they crawl they bite they chew but God says that he will restore all of this time and I do believe that there are going to be um, golden years or a golden age after all of this crazy um, bad stuff that's going to happen whether it's natural disasters or terrorism that leads to war um, like I mentioned before I know that there's got to be a silver lining within all of this and there is and a large piece of that is just knowing that you are never alone and um, God is always with you and although the enemy is lurking and is near and they um, do have intentions just know that God will never put in front of you something that you can't handle even though that may not seem accurate this is a, a phrase that I like to use and it really brings comfort to me if God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. I love that. Um, all right. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. Redeeming, meaning to buy or acquire for a greater, more productive purpose. Redeeming time lost. You need to make the best of every opportunity. He says, I will open the doors for you. You just make sure you are ready to walk through. 
So preparation is always key. Um, just because the seeds you have sown have not yet blossomed, it just has not been your season. So don't get frustrated like I do. I get quite frustrated when things don't go my way, but um, this is part of maturity and spiritual maturity as well. Falling back and just letting things happen the way that they're supposed to. Because sometimes when you're ready, it may not be ready for you, but you have to stay ready. Um, this says, he will give you his presence, provision, his power. It shall come to pass in the last days. Chapter 2, verse 28 of something. I think it's Joel. Pour out my spirit. Um, pour out my spirit on all flesh. My sons and daughters shall prophesy, dream dreams, and see visions. I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Okay, this was um, something that I really wasn't quite sure if I was going to explain or tell anybody for that matter. I woke up the next day and did talk to my mom about it, even though she sometimes is not really into, um, I don't know, I guess I'm more spiritual or have a, diff a different perspective than, than she's used to. But I decided that it was a conversation that needed to be had. And I think that it's important that I share this with you all, too. The reason I'm even sitting here now discussing all of this with you, the reason I started to do all that research and felt the need to sit down and discuss this all with you is because um, the day, this was maybe a week ago at this point, so the day before I dove into all of this research and um, developing questions to find answers, I had this dream, but it honestly was more of a nightmare because in this dream, and I just want to say also, um, since I was younger, I have had dreams and um, I don't know, I would say visions or I get information um, for different things before they happen. I'm, um, I don't consider myself a psychic because I don't read minds or whatever, but I definitely have a different perspective and I'm so lucky to have that. Um, and I have a whole list of things that I would be happy to share with you. Now that I'm scratching the surface, I might as well just dive all the way in. Um, but there have been a lot of things that I knew before it happened in the past. And I had this dream. I feel very nervous. Um, I feel very, very nervous right now. Just when I, even thinking or talking about this is just, I think it kind of like stirs up something within myself that is just so uneasy. But I had a dream that I was hanging out with my friends. Everything was normal and perfect. And within a flash, within one second, I was underwater. I was underwater and I was so nervous. I was so scared. And I wrote in my journal the very next morning, um, detail by detail. And it was just such a horrifying experience. And I'm thinking, wait, everything was just perfectly fine just one second ago. But here I am underwater and when I'm in, oh, just thinking about it, ew. I was in this water, and I looked down, and the water just went down forever. I felt so nervous. I knew that something was going to attack me or something was going to get me. I didn't know if it was a shark or just there was so much space and so much of this water that there was obviously a million things underneath it. And I just knew in my heart or something that at least one of those things was out to get me. Just really uneasy. And I'm 
freaking out. I look around and there's just wa water. And I, I wasn't drowning. I was able to, I was just in the water really nervous and freaking out and I remember thinking oh okay at least I can swim to the surface and I'll be fine but when I look up there was so much more water to go I was stuck there was nothing I could do there was no place I could go and to put things into into more perspective I remember like reaching out and and I was able to see I was able to kind of gauge the amount of space and mass of water this was. It was a huge amount. I kind of reach my hands out, you know, at arm's length, and I see this, but it went on for so much more that way, and so much more that way, and behind me, and underneath me. It was just overwhelming. It was so overwhelming. I was so freaked out. So that was a big part of it, way more details way more um you know there was way more elements to that story the dream or whatever but that's pretty much what i felt that night okay so i woke up the next morning um and i ended up doing a lot of research and i also the next night had a dream about war and being invaded and and the the time frame it felt like it was going to happen just in the next couple days and i'm just very intuitive and i pick up on a lot of little things and my feelings and what the thoughts that are in my head kind of sometimes mean more than the stuff that's actually happening does that make sense i don't know it all makes sense to me it makes a lot of sense to me and I've come to rely on that intuition or sense of whatever I have. So I said all of that to say, these are the things that happened within myself, within me and my mind and my brain and my life prior to even finding out about all of this crazy ass stuff. So to know that I live in Los Angeles, California, pretty close to the beach to read all of the prophecies and what the oracles had to say and what these different civilizations had to say and what NASA is saying about what's happening in space what scientists are saying about what is to happen on earth um, what this web bot is saying about our future and this data gap that there's no information at all. It's just crazy. Am I really at 13 minutes? Whoa, 13 minutes and 13 seconds. Okay, let me sum it up. So that this is why I'm sitting here with you and talking to you because I had a sense that something was gonna happen that's gonna throw everything off before I even did any of this research, before I knew any of these facts. So as nervous as I am, as freaked out and unsettling as all of this is, this just guided me to that church. And it guided me to sit down and absorb every single thing that was said. And I am so grateful that I did. And I know that God is always with us. I know that. But to hear it from the pastor's mouth and to hear all of the details like I did was pretty quite incredible. Okay, I think I'm going to do another video. Okay, I'm not going to let the 15 minutes run out. I'm just going to stop and start so I'm not cut off. Wait. My mouse likes to get stuck. Okay, I'll see you in five seconds.